When I first started posting videos to YouTube, I told myself two things. One, I would never talk to the camera, and two, I would never buy any audio equipment. Fast forward to now, I do talk to the camera sometimes, and I did buy just a little bit of audio equipment. In addition to that, I have been using Adobe Audio Enhancer and have found really great results, making a pretty basic and affordable audio setup sound much, much better. So today we're gonna look at a couple different mics and even iPhone voice memos and the internal mic on this camera and see how good we can make it sound. So right now I am recording on the voice memos on my phone and this Sennheiser MKE 400 into a Zoom F2. This was about $200 and this was like $187. I have it a little bit far away from me just for the purposes of this demonstration. We will also check this lav here, which is the lav that came with the Zoom F2. So what you've been hearing this whole time is actually my iPhone voice memos. So let's take a look at switching that back to the non-enhanced version. So this is my iPhone voice memos. It's about three feet away from me. The AC is on, I can kind of hear it. And we will switch over to the audio enhanced version and we can see how much better that sounds with basically the click of a button. Occasionally when I'm doing this, I will use both tracks, the original track and the enhanced version, kind of fade them together. So now we are hearing the original audio off of the Sennheiser mic that's about four and a half feet away from me on the table right here. And we can switch over to the enhanced version and hear what that sounds like. And again, that's just with the click of a button. Next, we'll take a listen to the raw audio from the scratch mics on the camera. The camera's about seven feet away from me and we'll move over to the enhanced version, which hopefully is pretty good for it being a scratch mic on the camera seven feet away from me, which in my experience is never usable for a situation like this. Now we'll take a look at these items with the door open out here. I'm in New York City, so I can hear the sounds of traffic out the window. This is the voice memos from the iPhone, and we'll switch over to the enhanced version with the traffic in the background and see how that cleans up. Now we'll move over to the Sennheiser, which again is like four feet away from me, and we will switch over and see what that sounds like cleaned up with traffic in the background. Can we still hear it? I don't know. We'll see when I look at this on the computer. And lastly, we'll move over to the scratch mics that are on the camera. I can't imagine that this is going to work well but we will see we'll switch over to the enhanced version i'm not really talking that loudly so hopefully it cleans it up and maybe we'll fade it in between the two now we're listening to the lav mic door is still open behind me and we will switch over to the enhanced version we can still hear traffic in the background i just heard a car beep so we will shut the door so this is the lav mic with the sync on and we'll switch over to the enhanced version and see how much of the sync we can still hear. We're now with the door closed, the AC is still going, the lav is on my chest and we will switch over to the enhanced version and see how that sounds. And we can switch to a faded mix between both of them to just kind of made it sound more like a studio recording, especially when I faded between the two tracks. I did record some YouTube videos in the past with just an iPhone voice memos and didn't touch it at all in post. Told myself I wouldn't post on YouTube talking to the camera, but here we are. Told myself I wouldn't post on YouTube talking to the camera, but here we are. If you're ever in a scenario where you're recording your own audio for YouTube or for anything, for any interviews, putting it through Adobe's Audio Enhance could yield good results for you, especially if you have background noise in a documentary scenario or just need it to sound a little bit better with basically the click of a button, maybe a little fade between the two. Yet again, another new tool that's come out that is making our lives easier, different, 